review of episode two of Shadowhunters on Freeform slash Netflix. Cause if you're in the States, you get it on Freeform, which was ABC Family before. And if you're in other parts of the world, like for me, I'm from Canada, I watch it on Netflix and it's just great. It's it's amazing. The show is not that amazing, but it's amazing that we can watch it wherever we are. So last week I did my review for episode one and you can click right here if you want to watch it. I dis discussed my feelings for the things that happened in episode one and my feelings haven't changed that much. They've improved a little bit, but it's not that big of a difference. So you can click there if you want to watch it. And now you can watch me talk about the second episode that aired Tuesday night for the States and Wednesday for everywhere else. I think the first thing I discussed in the first episode was how they didn't have a theme song and I was kind of disappointed about it. And I said maybe in the next season they'll get a better, um, 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 theme song, but this time we got kind of a theme song. It's just like a little background music with pictures of their faces going around and at the end they say something. I can't remember what it is. So it's a little improvement, but it's still not Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter, like Christine did with Natasha. <laughs> so it still, it still feels cheesy. There's still something wrong with it. Uh, it's still not the best show ever, but there's a little improvement from the first one. Uh, this one, the characters are starting to develop into themselves since it was the second episode, it was in the pilot. So uh, I still have a problem with the girls. The girls are still getting on my nerves, especially Clary and Isabel and Clary's mom. They're like the least good actors there. Simon and Alec are still my top fave. They're so good. And I love Matthew Daddario. If I haven't stated that before, I, I am now. This episode we were introduced to Hodge and it's not Hodge from the books. Let me tell you that. One, he's hot Hodge. But it's not the old Hodge that we had in the books and in the movie. This one's young and he's their weapons master trainer fighter guy so he doesn't run the institute he's just like there he's the guy who trains them i guess so is he the one still running the institute or do they run the institute it's like who is in charge of the institute is there somebody that we're going to meet later on who is supposed to be in charge of the institute while the kids are out hunting demons <laughs> Their circle on their neck for the ones that had been in the circle, like um, Hodge and Jocelyn, but Jocelyn doesn't have a circle on her neck. Uh, that was kind of weird. Now I see why people say it looks like a big blob of spaghetti. It's it's not the most attractive thing. Like you could have done something a little bit better. Um, and the fact that it burns them every time they talk about the circle and what happened in the past. So that's why nobody else knows about what happened during the war. It's it's a little weird, but it's still cool. I kind of liked it, but it's still just a little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ugh, it's just something wrong with it all the time. Every little thing has something wrong with it. I can't describe it. Can we talk about how Jace is just a little too bit supportive of Clary? I mean, in the books, he's like completely against helping her. She's like a burden to him. And then in this one, he's like, oh, I'll protect you, Clary. You're mine to protect. And it's just like, they're trying too much to have this little love thing happening and I want it to be more clash. I want them to clash a little bit more because that's how their relationship develops in the books. They clash and then they discover that they're perfect for each other and uh, and he's not sassy enough for me. Definitely not. I want Jace to be more sassy more outspoken about what he thinks of life and the things that he doesn't like about life. They're taking everything out of what we like about the characters, especially Jace, and it's just, that's not Jace, it's just Dom Sherwood acting as Jace. Is it Sherwood, his last name? I don't even know. This thing has nothing to do at all with the characters or like the plot of the show, but they zoomed in on Simon's face at one point and he had like a little scar, like a Harry Potter scar on his forehead. Did anybody else realize that he had a Harry Potter scar on his forehead? And speaking of Harry Potter, how about that Dumbledore line with the, the witch light where he was like, it, it helps us find the light. 
even in the darkest of places. I think he likes Harry Potter a little bit too much where he's stealing lines from the movies slash books and applying it in his life. So what's up with Clary's necklace, that big rock that she has around her neck? It's purple and it's big and uh, it helps her see things that are happening somewhere else. It's like a clairvoyant rock um, and I don't understand what it's supposed to do. Hopefully they're going to explain it to us more in the future, but right now it's really confusing. And we've read the book, so think about the people who haven't read the books and are like, what the hell is this rock supposed to do? Like, it's not really helping her help her friends because she saw that Dot was being attacked and she couldn't even save her. So what's the point of having the rock if you can't even save them? This time we got to see the Silent Brothers, which was pretty cool. They did a really good job, I think, with the Silent Brothers. I was really pleased with it. They had their eyes sewed and their mouth sewed and they could hear them speak through their heads and it was really great. I really like that scene. They're really speeding things up with the TV show because in episode two we already found out that uh, Valentine is Clary's dad and it's just like, whoa, that only happens at the end of the book, you know, when they figure out their you know what. And it's, it's I don't know, it's just like weird that we found out so early on. But I mean, I guess we have to because if it's a TV show, you gotta know who your bad guy is and why he has Clary's mom. And I guess it's a good thing that they told us right at the beginning that he's uh, Clary's dad and you know I guess they did a great job about that. I guess it makes more sense for people who haven't seen the, mo the books. Read the books, my gosh. The worst scene, the worst lines of this episode was when Clary found out that Valentine was her dad and then they all started asking like, Valentine's your dad? Who is your dad? And it was just really bad acting, especially on Jace's part. It, it just it really was bad, like super bad acting. One thing that I kind of forgot that was supposed to happen was that Simon got caught by the vampires and I totally forgot that was supposed to happen. So it was kind of a surprise for me. I was like, oh my gosh, Simon got captured by vampires. And now we're gonna see the turn of Simon towards the vampire clan. And it's gonna be fun because Simon is a really good actor. Alberto something is the really good actor and he's doing a great job as Simon. He's like one of my tip top favorites and I'd really, I'm really excited for the next episode to see what's gonna happen with the vampires and Simon and going to find Simon. So those were my thoughts for episode two. I liked it better than the first one for sure. Uh, it's still not great, but it's not bad. It's not a bad show. So don't give up on it yet because if you give up on it, they have no chance of getting better at it. So go watch it, go rewatch it on Netflix if you've already watched it. Give it the five stars on Netflix and just support it because it's our fandom. You know, we have to keep supporting it if we want it to get better and you can't, we can't give up on it. Even though I'm kind of bashing it all the time on these videos, I still love it. I won't give up on the show just because their acting is not that great for now. I mean, they have a chance to get better at it and I hope they do. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of the second episode, if you liked it better than the first one, and if you're gonna keep watching it, let me know if you are. I hope you are because I would be really sad if you just gave up on it. So if you've enjoyed my review, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe either so you can keep watching these videos because I'm updating a review every single week after every episode. I mean, not like right after the show ends but you know a few days later so i'll see you guys really soon with a brand new video bye